Hi, this is Ash from Mego Experts, Tizen Experts, and Mobile Linux News. Hardware review time, and we have got a Crab Super Grip. Uh, now, this is a, a mounting system. Um, we've seen loads of them. Uh, this one has the unique thing of saying that it could uh, it can be mounted on almost any kind of surface, which is uh, quite interesting. So let's uh, let's open her up and have a look the initial packaging itself looks very nice well polished box telling you loads of things that we're really not interested in and this is the unit itself so that's pretty straightforward looking and here it is with some instructions and also one of these useful, uh, well actually I say useful but I've never actually used them so this is uh, one of them pads with a sticky side on one side and it's for, for sort of surfaces that you might not be able to get a good stick on otherwise stick that on and then stick that onto the surface and then put your suction mount on top of that and away you go um, I've never actually tried one of these so no comment on that here is the the thing itself. Uh, actually, I'm just going to put a bit of lighting up. There, you can see it better now. And let's just focus in slightly. Okay, so this is the thing itself, and basically, you've got a uh, clip at the top. It sort of reminds me of a of a lady's hair clip, which probably. Isn't the best way to explain it, but uh, there's the clip bit at the bottom, it, and then in the jaws itself, it's got some nice rubbery bits to make sure that it cushions the phone and doesn't rip it apart. Uh, at the bottom here, you've got a ball ball joint, so you can swing it into position. Uh, your little suction uh, lever here, which you can obviously select up to stick it on wherever you want. This is the bit that's interesting or different. If you take uh, the sticky bit off, the bit underneath it is very, very sticky, uh, to say the least. And this is what makes it different than other mounts. Now, as you can see, that's uh, you can see how sticky and moist that's looking right from the off. Now, apparently, with this thing. Um, over time, as you use it, it can uh, the suction can uh, degrade on it. Uh, well, the stickiness, should I say? Uh, and apparently, what you need to do is wash it under some water. Well, just give it a light wash under water, nothing else, and it's supposed to uh, fix it upright. Okay, let's just stick this down. Let it let it do what it's supposed to do. So here. Now here I haven't even uh, activated the the suction part of it, the, the suction lever, and it's stuck onto this desk very, very well. Hmm. More well than I thought. Okay, let's put a phone. That's a Nokia 9. And uh, it's holding it really well. Uh, actually, that's without the suction clip. Let's put the lever down. And that's the phone in very well. You can change the viewing angle. Hang on. You can change the viewing angle. Now, obviously, this is stuck onto a standard desk. Uh, so does that reason well and that's how wide it can go I think they say it can go up to five inches so you possibly might be able to get a Galaxy Note into that uh, this is the Tizen developer device which is probably the broadest device that I've got at hand Oops. let's re-stick it and that fits on quite well uh, okay, it has come off, there, but um, 
Hmm. Okay, that's back on. Okay, with this, uh, with the pad itself, this is ridiculously uh, sticky. Uh, just to show you how ridiculously sticky it is, uh, I'm just going to chuck it on the windscreen. Now I haven't clicked down the lever, but it's just, uh, it's quite happy to stick there. And I think I could put something, I could probably put a phone on it and it'll still stick. This thing is crazy, but uh, let's flick down the lever. Now the, I'm putting right now, I'm putting a hell of a lot of force on it and I cannot move that whatsoever. So let's put a phone or two on it and see how it looks. Uh, I really like how it's got a, a sort of minimalist look because it's really tiny. And uh, here's the Nokia N9, and Nokia N9 is looking very nice. Uh, let's try a different phone. Uh, now I was looking for sort of widish phones that might be able to work, and this is the BlackBerry 9900, uh, which sits very well. And uh, I can't move the damn thing anyway. And let's try the widest phone that I've got is the Tizen Developer Edition phone, and it handles that reasonably well. Again, there's no, there's no shift in this thing. Uh, and if we just get an idea, you could probably put a much uh, wider phone than this as well. I wouldn't be surprised if you could get uh, the Galaxy Note in here. Unfortunately, I haven't got the Galaxy Note. To restress, check the power of this bloody thing. Uh, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna use this for a few days, probably give uh, final thoughts on the post. Um, and uh, this is Ash from Mobile Linux News, Tizen Experts and Mego Experts.